G'day, I'm Patrick from Douglas Fur Design. Welcome to the Router Bits. I owed one of my buddies a favour and he asked me to put a lid on his uh, firewood box. It's just made out of uh, pine lining, it's nothing very fancy, so I just made a little uh, lid, kind of similar to how you would make a cupboard door frame, like rail and style type style of, of door. Uh, and I want to, rather than having it overhang or have a handle on the top, I'm going to have hinges on it and I'm going to put a finger pull profile around the front edge and the two side edges. Now there is a finger pull bit that you can get from Torcada. Um, they have three different sizes and that would do a great job. Uh, it's got quite a deep profile that it cuts into the timber and I thought it was going to leave not enough meat on the actual piece of wood that I was cutting into. So there's another bit that does a really similar job. It's actually called a window sill bit or a finger pull bit. They usually have both of those names in the title and it's a very similar bit but creates a less deep finger pull recess so it leaves a bit more timber around the top. You'll understand what I mean once I cut it. So these were traditionally used to create the rounded profile like a bull nose that you would see on a window sill. I don't have a lot of use for that, I don't make a lot of windows, but this is a really good quick use for it that'll make a useful little finger pull on the lid of this box so you can lift it up and down really easily. All right, setup is really simple. You want to set the uh, bottom edge of that curve so that it's just underneath the uh, piece of wood that you're using. We're going to be use doing these cuts with the lid upside down on the router table. So this is how it's going to sit on the box, this is how it sits on the router table. I only want to do the front edge and the two sides, but first of all we'll set that height. So I've just brought that down, so as that curve comes around, it's gonna meet the top edge in a nice smooth transition. I can lock that height off. To set the depth of the fence, all we need to do is hold a ruler or something like that against the, uh, the lowest part of that profile and make sure that the fence is at that point or just a little bit closer towards me. So that means a little piece of meat will still be left on the edge of the wood so it can run along the fence the whole way and it's not going to go halfway along and then fall into the piece that we've cut away. Okay. That's set, I'll do a really quick test cut, as I always do, to make sure it's all good. And then I'm ready to run the door through. All right, super simple, it's done. Feels good, looks good, does exactly what I needed it to do. So you can pick up these uh, window sill and finger pull bits from Timbercon at their website, timbercon.com.au, or I think we have a link below here, or you can pick them up in their stores in Perth and in Melbourne.